everyone has been clowning on Donald Trump's potential VP pick, South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem. And boy, does she deserve it for being a huge liar and cruel to animals. But Jimmy Kimmel took it to another level and destroyed Governor Noem on his show last night. Playing what he says is an excerpt from her audiobook, Jimmy allowed his audience to hear Governor Noem describe the monster inside her. This clip is great. And make sure you watch all the way until the end because there's a moment you don't want to miss involving a hamster named Petey. Check it out. This whole experience has been a disaster for Governor Noem, but she would like us to read it and decide for ourselves. And here's an excerpt from the audiobook they released today. And I will say it does play differently when you hear it coming from her mouth. My hands were still shaking as I pulled into the parking lot. I could almost taste puppy blood. I jumped out of my American-built Japanese pickup and kicked the doors to Petco wide open. Inside, I saw them. Puppies. White, tan, brown, even black. All tumbly and bouncy with their floppy ears and little wet noses. God, I hated them. I put my earbuds in so I could blast Ave Maria, and Mama went to work. I shouted, time to die, cutie pies. And when the dogs were dead, I started in on the other pets. Bam, bam, bye-bye parakeets, sayonara turtles. The only animal I left alive was a single trembling hamster named Petey. I spared Petey so he could tell the others what happened that day. And I guess if I was a better politician, I wouldn't be telling this story right now. I, well, I couldn't agree more. It's Poor Petey the hamster was left with those horrific memories. Governor Kristi Noem, you are a monster. Though this isn't really an excerpt from her audiobook, the real audiobook confirms that Governor Noem has been lying. In the book, she claims she met North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and stared him down. But this meeting never happened. And when called out on it, Governor Noem said she made the publisher aware of this as soon as she found out so it could be removed. But she voiced the audiobook before the book was published, so she has no excuse for not knowing this line was in the book. And of course, when she was confronted with this fact, she just tried to move the conversation to another place. So you did not meet with Kim Jong-un? That's what you're saying? No, I've met with many, many world leaders, many world leaders. I've traveled around the world. I think I've talked extensively in this book about my time serving in Congress, my time as governor, before governor, some of the travels that I've had. Um, I'm not going to talk about my specific meetings with world leaders. I'm just not going to do that. I just, but you didn't answer my question. When you record, you posted pictures and video of yourself mm -hmm. recording mm -hmm. the audiobook. Mm -hmm. When you recorded your own audiobook, you didn't notice I'm not going to discuss about my meetings with world leaders. I'm not asking you to. I'm asking you about recording the audio. Did you want to talk about something else today? No, I just wanted to know. I no. mean, I did, we're just trying to get a, a no. straight answer no. from it. This is better. Well, did. I think it's safe to say that Kristi Noem has eliminated herself from the race to become Trump's vice president. Not because she lied repeatedly about meeting the leader of North Korea or her cruel solution to a family pet situation that could have been easily solved in a more humane way. No, I think her getting so much attention is what would make Trump pass on her. Trump doesn't like to share the spotlight with anyone. He wants a vice president who will spend their time only talking about Trump and following his commands. Any attention that the vice president receives is a distraction from Donald Trump, and he won't stand for that. And though she won't be his VP pick, it's a lot of fun to watch brilliant people like Jimmy Kimmel take apart these MAGA lunatics one by one.